Hey, what's up? It's Josh Shanley with Reticulous.com in our secret ninja headquarters here nestled in uh, the mountains in central Pennsylvania. And in a minute, I'm actually going to go to the computer screen and show you a fast and free way to get local targeted traffic with LinkedIn. Now, again, in a minute, we're going to switch to the uh, computer. I'm going to walk you through this method. Then when we're done there, I'm going to come back to the big whiteboard and I'm going to show you the biggest mistake that you need to avoid when using this method. So let's go to the computer and we're going to come back here and tell you how not to screw it up and, uh, and ruin um, this method for you forever. So let's go to the computer screen and then we'll come back here in just a few minutes. Okay, so I've logged into LinkedIn and uh, let's take you step by step through how you can use this, uh, again, fast and, and free strategy uh, for getting more traffic, uh, local traffic and leads uh, from LinkedIn. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go right here to the groups and we're going to go to groups directory. And we are going to search for local groups. So for me, I'm just going to type in Harrisburg because Harrisburg is the biggest city in my area. And I've gotten 82 search results. Here's what I would do. I would uh, select the top 10 to 20, depending on how large of an area you're in, maybe as many as 30 groups and request to join those groups. Now, you want them to be somewhat relevant um, to what you want to share. For example, there are some groups like the, the University of Law, School of Law. This probably won't make sense because a lot of the discussion in, the, in that group might be about that, but the Central Penn Business Journal would be a great one. This one here would be a great one. Harrisburg Young Professionals. I thought I was already a member of that. I'll click that one. The Harrisburg Regional Chamber and Credic. Um, let's see what happens. So what happens is some of the groups, you will uh, automatically be approved as a member. And then some of them, they actually have to, uh, they manually approve you. So some of them, you'll instantly become a member. And some of them, you may have to wait a couple of days. But I would go through and join uh, a number of groups. Now see, I've already, um, I'm, I'm a member of five of these so far. So this is a good enough start. And, uh, and so here's, I'm gonna show you now uh, what you're gonna do with these groups. Uh, super ninja trick that hardly anybody knows about. So I'm gonna go to my profile and I'm going to post an update, okay? And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this blog post from my blog and I'm just gonna post it here. Uh, actually, and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna put home buyer opportunity pending sales slip in July. And then I'm gonna post the URL and uh, you'll notice that LinkedIn automatically sorts of, sort of shortens it to a LinkedIn um, URL. Actually, it didn't do that yet, but when I hit share, it will. And then uh, what you what it'll do is it'll be, um, there'll be images you can choose from. I'm actually gonna stay with the, this graph that it's very hard to see, but it says pending home sales. Then uh, once I'm okay with the way this looks, and you can actually edit this by clicking here. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. I'm gonna click share. Great, now, okay, so that is that is kind of like uh, Twitter. You're sharing an update, and uh, but that's not that's not the good part. Now, before I show you the good part, I wanna I wanna also point out you, you're gonna wanna hit the like button as well. Uh, I found that that will pull in people and uh, who will kind of check out your post. But here is the strategy: click on the share button after your update has been posted. Then we're gonna deselect post to update, updates and we're going to select post to groups. And then what we're going to do is we're going to post it to the local groups that I am a member of. And uh, here's, here's what happens. When I hit share, this post will be posted to all of those local groups. 
So those members of those groups uh, will get, uh, if they go in to look at the group, they're going to see your post. But what also happens is once a day, in almost every group, once a day, an update is emailed to every group member of new discussions. And your new discussion will be included in that link. And it's going to pull traffic, again, very targeted traffic, to your website or whatever you it was that you posted in your update that you are now sharing. So I'm gonna click share. Simple as that, simple as that. What you can also do is you can send it to specific individuals. So you can, you can send it right here. You can enter email addresses to share with people that you aren't connected to. So if you, uh, if you are targeting an influencer on LinkedIn, you might wanna share something interesting with them. This is really, really powerful. Really, really powerful. We have been using this strategy for over a year and we, without fail, get five, 10, sometimes 20, sometimes 50 visitors a day using this strategy. So if you need to, rewind this back so you can watch it again. It's super simple once you've got the process down. And uh, we're gonna go back to the whiteboard where I'm gonna show you uh, some mistakes to avoid with this strategy, and they are critical. So hang on, we're gonna go back to the whiteboard and share uh, the mistakes that I see people making with this and how you can avoid those. Okay, I think you can agree that's a pretty ninja method uh, to get free local targeted traffic from a really great quality source in LinkedIn, a, a source that is chock full of great potential clients for your real estate business. But here's what not to do, okay? You can't do this, otherwise you're gonna mess it up. First of all, you only want to do the, use this method three to five times per week tops, okay? And if you're going to err on, this, on one side, I'd err on the lower side. Here's even more importantly what you need to avoid doing. Don't post junk, okay? Here's what I mean by that. Don't post every new listing that you have. Uh, don't always, uh, you can't always be posting commercial type of stuff. Here's what you should be posting, okay? Okay, here's what to post. Post, if I could spell. You wanna post valuable content, okay? Uh, maybe local or national topics, again, with the spelling and interesting and engaging content, okay? So post stuff that delivers value to the people that'll be reading it. If all you do is post new listings, uh, post about your next open house, uh, post about a great deal, you're going to ruin this method. The idea is you post this interesting stuff to get them to your website, which has your lead capture on it. Then, once they fill that out and go into your email database, that's when you can use the methods, some of the other methods that we teach, um, delivering maybe a free weekly list of homes, delivering Best Buy deals, letting them know about private open houses, things like that. But you can't be doing that with this method first. This is just a way to get traffic to your site so that that traffic can then become a lead for your business. Now, if you're not good with this, okay, if, if coming up with ideas for content is difficult to you, we have something called the Real Estate Content Library. And right below this video, you can get access to it. It includes uh, dozens upon dozens of white label video content that you can use on your website. You will also get access each and every week to three to five new blog posts that you can take and place over on your blog very, very simply. 
You'll get access to motivational quotes that you can use to share. You'll get access to additional widgets that you can put on your, on your website. You'll get access to some free reports um, and things like that that you can use. Tons and tons of real estate specific content, all white label that you can use for your websites, blogs, Facebook fan pages, and other social media outlets. And, uh, and we, we are continuing to add to it each and every week. So right below this video, you can get access to that. Um, also do me a big favor, below the video, there'll also be a spot to hit the old Facebook like button and leave your comments. I'd love to know what you think about this method. We have been personally using this now for almost a year or, or a little over a year. It's extremely effective and uh, I highly recommend that you do it, but don't mess it up, okay? You need to be posting valuable information, valuable content. Check out the content library below, leave your comments below, and we'll talk again real soon.